Hey everybody, this is Guru Francis, Big Boy Screamador, and today we're doing another Filipino martial arts tutorial, and this time we're going to be talking about the, se the series of using the axe or the trench hawk made by Cold Steel. This is the trainer version. But before we do that, please don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification button so that you're aware of the, the latest videos that comes out with Filipino martial arts school. But today, again, we're going to be talking about the trench hawk. So a friend of mine told me a long time ago that anything that you put in your hands becomes a weapon, depending on what the anatomy of that tool is in your hand. Anything that has a, a, a point is for puncturing. Anything that has a flat surface is for blood force trauma. Anything that has an edge is for lacerating. And anything that has a hook is for capturing. And anything, again, that's flexible is for wrapping or in this, in this case, definitely a whip. So we're gonna be talking about how this is, this is one of my favorite training, uh, training tools. Or my, and then also, if, if I ever get an opportunity, heaven forbid that it never does, that this will be my go-to weapon. Why? Because it incorporates a lot of those things already. It has an edge for lacerating, flat surface for uh, blood force trauma. It's got a point for puncturing, and of course, it has a hook. But today, we're going to be talking about the slicing portion of the trench hawk. So I have my student, Raymond, here, who's going to be helping me demonstrate. So basically, now, of course, normally, if somebody was finding me empty hands and I have an axe, most likely that this person is not going to attack me. But then again, not most people are very sane when it comes to fighting other people. But we're going to be talking about how this, how I use this as a slicing, as a lacerating a tool. So back up. Uh, so when he say he punches me with his right, I'm going to slice here and then check, slice his abdomen, slice his neck, and then come back down, slice this way and slice out this way. Boom. Okay. One more time. He's going to punch, slice, check, slice his abdomen, slice his neck, slice his his uh, his arms. Slice and then slice across his body. Okay, let's go to the other side. He's gonna again. He's gonna punch, slice, slice his abdomen, slice his neck, slide his uh, his, his torso, and step out and slide uh, and one one finish uh, plancha slice across his abdomen. So there you have it. This is how you use the trench act as a lacerating tool. Um, and if you you know stay tuned for next week because we're gonna be doing more using the trench hawk. Until then, this is Guru Francis, Big Boy Screamer. Until next time, peace out, God bless, and. Keep swinging them hawks.